Anyone's brain will forget things if you don't study and review. So use this terminology mind map exercise to help you internalize and remember things long term. If you've already seen the video about this content, great. If not, it's linked in the description to this video. There's the title of it there as well on the top of the screen. So watch that first. Or if you're using the books and you'd like to use this review video with that, here in volume one, you see the title of the chapter as well as the title of the section in that chapter that you would need to have read in order for this to be a useful review exercise. So either look at the book or watch the video first. All right, let's dive into the terminology mind map here in this video. Let me walk through the three phases with you. We'll use a seed term of 1000 base T in this case. So make yourself a list of whatever terms and concepts come to mind using that seed term. And you got five seconds to hit pause so you can go off and do the activity. Next up at phase two, make a mind map from the terms and concepts you just wrote down. So you start with the seed term, put it somewhere near the middle of your piece of paper. And then whatever terms go together, group them in some way. If they're another set of terms, group them together. But for the terms that don't really group together well, list those individually around the page as you see here. List things that are closely related nearby and not so closely related further away. That's the idea. I'll give you five seconds to get started and take two minutes to do this phase. Next up in phase three, now that you have your mind map, you can check our term list. I should have used all these in the related section video, but maybe not, so just be warned on that. So take this list, compare it to your mind map, take up to two minutes to update it, and that'll be it for your part of the activity. Now that you've created your mind map, let me walk you through one I created from the term list I showed you there at phase three. So the seed term was 1000 base T. It's one of the unshielded twisted pair based ethernet physical layer standards. So starting in the upper right and going around clockwise again, there were several UTP standards mentioned. So that seems like a group that ought to be mentioned. So 10 base T, 100 base T, 1000 base T, which was our seed term, and then 10 G base T, which is the 10 gigabit standard that also uses UTP. All of those were the ones that supported a 100 meter length. Then the two fiber based standards that we mentioned, of which there are many more that we didn't get into in the related video, 1000 base SX and 10 G base SR, those are one and 10 gigabits per second each. And they have dis, uh, different distance abilities as far as how long a single link can be based on the type of cabling, you might recall. We talked about RJ45 connectors with UTP. We talked about small form factor pluggables, those little bits of hardware you can insert and remove from switches. So you, your expansion ports, you can change what type of cable you support over time without having to buy a new switch. We talked about a few types of optical multi-mode cabling. There was OM1 and 4 in the slides, so I just list those, but there's OM2 and 3 and 4, and there's, there's even a 5 that I didn't mention in the slides. Also cable types, we mentioned unshielded twisted pair, and I might have mentioned multi-mode fiber, but not the acronym, but you'll see MMF for multi-mode fiber. It's one of the two types of fiber, single mode fiber being the other. And then we talked about cable categories for unshielded twisted pair. So CAT3, CAT5, 5E, 6A, and a few others, but those are the main ones you'll see in campus lands. Probably not CAT3 anymore because it's fairly old. And there you go. That's a review of what I would have built. Now, the nice thing about using an app is you could move things around. You can expand this and that kind of thing. So feel free to do that, do that uh, but you don't really have to. Thanks for sticking all the way to the end. I hope you did the activity because you get the most from it that way. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell. And as always, whenever you watch these videos, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you. Hey, thanks for hanging out today.
For this term mind map, the C term is 1000 base T. So go ahead and on your piece of paper make a list of all the terms that come to mind or related concepts for which you can't remember a term. I'll give you a five second countdown timer to give you time to hit pause so you can go off and do phase one. Thanks for doing this mind map exercise. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. As always, comments are great. Let me know what you think of the exercise. Thanks for hanging out.